Ernest Hemingway, right? We all know him as the prolific author of Farewell to Arms and uh, that other one, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Also a lot of military experience. He landed on Normandy. During World War II, he actually took his yacht around the Caribbean uh, searching for U-boats and also a great drinker. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the Hemingway daiquiri three different ways. The way we all know it, the way that's called the Hemingway daiquiri, and uh, the way he actually drank them. So let's check it out. By the way, for my friends in the comments section of last week's Whiskey Smash drink, uh, I got some surprises for you later, so please stay tuned. All right, so the first cocktail we're gonna make is the daiquiri that everybody knows, right? It's basically just rum, lime juice, and sugar. First, we're gonna get some rum, some beautiful Cuban rum, Havana style from Havana. Can't get this here, it's very good. I'm gonna get two ounces in here. It's about two, I think, yeah. I'm gonna take some fresh limes, and we're gonna squeeze Squeeze some limes, because you like the citrus. Biodegradable. Fresh air, fresh lime. Check it out, because you know I like to keep it fresh. Uh. All right, last thing, we just got to sweeten it up a little bit. Boink. We're going to get our um, glass nice and cold, right? We want to get this glass nice and cold, because we're going to serve this up. No ice is going to be in the glass. Shake it up with some ice. Get this nice and cold. Get your glass nice and cold. Uh, nothing else in the glass. Daytona Beach, 2014. Let's try it. It's all about that rum. It's all about that rum. That rum is good. That's some good rum. I go to jail for that rum. All right, but it's not, it's not what Ernest Hemingway drank, so we got two more to do. So let's do it. All right, so number two. This one's called the Hemingway Daiquiri. Uh, they were trying to name it after him, but they probably named it when they were four sheets in, rolling around the beach drunk. But the Hemingway Daiquiri is same idea. We're gonna put in a shaker glass here. Two ounces of rum, again. We're gonna get some lime, some fresh lime in. Uh, we're gonna use some uh, freshly squeezed grapefruit juice. This was squeezed by the spray. Uh, and then a splash of Luxardo, which is maraschino liqueur. It's basically like what a Shirley Temple tastes like if it was alcoholic. Pretty sweet. So we're gonna do a little smash of this. Smash, splash, and then that's it. So we're gonna throw, again, it's gonna be in a chilled glass. We're gonna shake it up. Mm. Okay. Chilled glass here, served up. Hemingway daiquiri, let's check it out. Yeah, that maraschino definitely adds a little bit of something, something. It tastes a little more complex. And in a weird way, kind of tastes a little soapy, but it's delicious. It's delicious soap. So that's a Hemingway daiquiri. Still, not what the man drank, but good nonetheless. All right, real quick, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do a bonus drink right now. This is what the tourists drank in Cuba. It's called the Papa Doble. It's basically the same thing. You just double the liquor and you throw it in a blender and you blend it up. We're doing four ounces of rum now. Then we're doing a splash. And we'll call it a double splash of maraschino. Then we're doing two ounces of grapefruit juice. Two ounces. For this one, I'm gonna use some, uh, some Nelly and Joe's Key Lime favorite juice of Key Lime West, also known as Key West Lime Juice. Same thing as the Hemingway daiquiri, but we're gonna blend it instead. Uh, look at that thing work. So that grapefruit juice foamed up nice. Talk about ocean spray. You take this on a Tuesday afternoon, you get up in your hammock, you read a nice book, For Whom the Ball Tolls, maybe? For Whom the Ball Tolls is a, is a basketball version of Ernest Hemingway's favorite novel. Ooh, Hot Mama, that's good. Ooh, Holy Cubano, this, this is delicious. Ooh, El Salvador, this is delicious. Mmm, Taco Tuesday. Mmm, Viva Fidel, this is delicious. Here, someone else try this, good. Megan, what, what are you doing? We taught you how to make a Hemingway daiquiri. We told you how to make the mainstream regular daiquiri. Now we're gonna show you how the man actually drank them. He drank them blended. He just took the rum and some lime juice, no sugar, blended it up with some ice, and that's what he liked to drink. I'm gonna use my trusty Daytona Beach cocktail shaker here to get uh, a Hemingway pour. I'll call it a Hemingway pour. Four ounces into the blender. 
Good four ounces of uh, freshly squeezed California limes. He was probably using Cuban limes, I guess. Somebody just got shot off in the Hollywood Hills. Clinch. Sorry, just hit one of the gardeners. Sorry, be cool. And that's it. Rum, rum, lime. Blend it with some ice. All right. Got that nice froth. It's just lime juice and, and rum. To the man, the myth, the legend, Ernest Hemingway. How he actually drank his cocktail. Let's try it. Woo. Woo. It's rummy. It's rummy. And it's not sweet at all. Thomas Hitch is a good man. There's a lot of rum in this. Rumpelstiltskin is a good man, too. <laughs> All right, I'm done with that. I don't really like this one. Someone give me a steak sandwich, will you? You know that, right? You're supposed to eat steak sandwich. I'm still talking to the audience. So this is to my friends from the comment section of the last Whiskey Smash video. Evidently, I didn't make a Navy cocktail the right way, and you guys had some input for me. Uh, so with the help of my trusty assistant over here, uh, I took your advice. Here's the, uh, the Navy way of drinking a bourbon drink. Cheers.